Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to look at arrays. I'm going to show you how to declare an array, add, update, and delete the contents of any array. Hope you enjoy this video. Let us start out by declaring an array of names. So we can say let names equal brackets, that mean array, and then we can say like Tom, Bill, and Nicole. Now, you can obviously see that these are three strings that go into name. Now, it is implied now that we've done this line three that the only data type that names can allow is of type string. So if I say console.log names, and I run that, notice that we get three names. Now, I can add a new name names dot push and I can push in Billy and then we can print that once again Billy is a string and this is not a problem but how about if I want to put a number in there uh, names push five console dot log names well, already we're seeing that we have a little red, and that's saying that it requires a string. So if I really wanted to put strings and numbers into an array, I'd have to kind of like start off at this line three and say, oh, I also kind of want to allow numbers. And then notice here on line nine, the underscore that red thing went away and now we can add Billy as a name and then five to the full list so notice Tom Bill Nicole 10 11 Billy and five now let's look at a way where we can actually define names and then kind of show the programmer what's available there so imagine this right here we say let names and then we're going to give the data types. We're going to say, okay, I'm going to allow string and I'm going to allow number. And this is of type array. So then I can say uh, names equal, um, what's that, Tom, Billy, Nicole. And imagine that was it. And I said uh, console.log names. So notice that's fine. And now I want to go and add that number names dot push 10. So notice that we get the 10 in there. So this is fine. Now, can I go ahead and push in a Boolean of true? Oh, look at that. I have a, it's not assignable. I only support string and number. Well, why don't we just come over there and say, okay, I also support Boolean. Oh, look, now it goes away. Control C, Control V, let's run it. And now we have our strings, numbers, and Boolean. In the last example, I showed you how to declare a variable and then tell me its data types that are available. Here I'm saying string or number or boolean or date and it's going to be an array. So notice I've initialized values with some values. Uh, Tom, Nicole, 10, 20, 30, true. Those. And then a new date. And then I print those out. Then notice I'm going to update some values. I'm going to say value sub zero is now Tommy. It was Tom, update it to Tommy. Value sub three, zero, one, two, three, the 20, I'm going to turn into USA. Let's see that work. So Tommy and USA. So notice if our array has the appropriate data types, then we can update it quite easily. 
Now, if I was missing one of these data types, I could not even insert this value into that array, uh, nor could I update it to a different data type. And there you have the update command. In this example, we will remove elements from the array. Notice on line three, I say let values, and then the data types, you understand that now. And then I say values equals Tom, Nicole, 10 true, and then a new date. I print that out. Then I'm going to use the command splice, and I'm going to say, hey, start at position one and remove three elements. So start at position one, zero, one. So start at Nicole and then remove three. So one, two, three. So I will remove these three entries. Let's see this work. So I started off with my complete set. I then removed Nicole, 10, and true, and that went into removed values. And then my current values has Tom and the date. And that is how you remove items from an array. And there you have it, team, the array. In this video, I showed you how to create an array, initialize an array, initialize it with different data types, then insert values, update values, and then remove values. That's all you need to know about an array. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, you learned a thing or two, and this video is done. I'll see you back in the next video. Have a good week. Adios.